So this is your sequence when developing the art of dropping and rolling and rotating and throwing the hook. So when you're doing that drop and roll, your objective is to come here and rotate the body the same way. Over here, pop, pop, come up and back to the middle. Pop, pop, and drop and roll. And scoop back in the middle. And remember that your defensive posture is the most important thing whenever you're executing that move. That gives you the rotation, that gives you the drop and roll conscience. The consciousness that you take up under that rope transfers into the floor. So, just remember, always get those repetitions from this rope to transfer that movement so you have all of the different. Go up under a shot. Good, go up under the shot. Boom, and that's your. Go up under the shot, pop, and back to the middle, step and step. Always take advantage of the opportunities to practice and get better. Beautiful. And this is super important when it comes down to the drop and roll. The essence of it is for the fighter from the outside, whether they're shorter or shorter in length. Your objective is to wait and use the offense of the longer fighter against them with a drop and roll. So as soon as they shoot, it gives you an opportunity to close the gap and create your attack. And that's what we're doing, making sure that when you have the ability to punch your opponent through the process of movement, the process of executing a drop and roll, that's the key for mastering the science of this drill for the shorter fighter or the fighter that's looking to put the press on. That's all we got for right now. Be blessed at God's speed. Drop and roll, science. Peace. We wanna make sure that you guys have all of the necessary content that'll help your camp flourish.